Welcome to this video. In this series of videos, we have shown that how we could model a random distributed fiber reinforced composite by Python scripting. This video explains how we could homogenize the result of modeling an RVE. For homogenization of this problem, at first we should have the volume fraction of each integration point. For this purpose, we go to the step and in field output we request the volume of each integration point as IVOL. Now we run the job another time. and go to the visualization module here we also have volume of each integration point now we use a python script to homogenize stress and strain all over this ROE for this purpose we use this python code in this python code at the first line we import a module to work with ODB and then we open the comp.odb file. After that, we extract the field outputs related to stress, strain and volume. You can watch details of these commands in our video related to extracting field outputs from an ODB. In summary, we should go zero steps and then from the last frame, we have field output and then by key we show which field output we are interested in. at this four body we calculate the total volume of the RVE for this purpose at first we define volume as zero and then we add the volume of each integration point to this volume and finally we print the total volume after that we calculate the effective stress of the structure. For calculating the effective stress, we use this formula, which means we should integrate the stress across the whole volume and divide it by volume. We rewrite this formula based on stress and volume of each integration point and then use it in our code. For this purpose, at first, we define three stress components to be zero. As this problem is plain stress, we have only three components of stress. And then we add the stress of each integration point. This shows the stress in each integration point. Integration point number i. And zero means S11. Multiplied by volume fraction of this integration point divided by total volume. The same thing for S22 and S12. Please notice that in saving the stress components, the third stress is related to the third direction and the fourth component is related to the shear stress. And the third stress is zero here. After this four body, we have three components of effective stress and print them. Exactly the same procedure can be used to calculate the effective strain of this ROE. Now we run the Python code in the Abacus software. As it can be seen here, the total volume is this number and then we have effective stress in the first and second and shear directions as we expected the effective stress in the second direction s22 is zero and we have only effective stress in the first direction and shear effective stress about the strains also as we expected the effective strain in the first direction is exactly equal to the applied strain to the first direction and the effective strain in the lateral direction shows that the poisson ratio is equal to approximately 0.3 and the effective shear strain is almost zero please notice that if you are interested to compute elastic constant of the composite materials 
like E1, E2 and G12 in this case which is two dimensional. At first you should perform three jobs. The first and second jobs are tensions in X and Y direction and the third job is shear in X, Y direction. Then you should calculate the Q matrix and also calculate the S matrix by inversing the Q matrix. And finally, compute the elastic constant by the S matrix. Thank you guys for watching this video. If this video has helped you out, please let us know by a like, a comment or a subscribe. See you in the next videos.